Hi, welcome again to this uh, MI Rack tutorial. Today I would like to show you as a response to a question in one of the comments how to set up um, a mixer where you have um, IOX um, one or more as um, alternative uh, channels and also how to have send and return effects. So the easiest way to do is to choose the right mixer. So let's try one. Click on the plus sign, let's select tag, and let's go to the mixer section. Let's try to use um, <clears throat> one which, which we haven't used before, in this case, the master mixer. Here we are. As you can see, in this, after, um, in this master mixer, you have AUX1 and 2, and for each one of them, you have an output and also a return. So, let's try to use it. So, let's... Um, add a simple um, VCO, here we are, then let's add also a mixer just for that VCO, then let's add also an ADSR module, and then let's also add an A-step sequencer, here we are. So, and also let's add um, a simple clock. <clears throat> Again, add the patch. So let's connect those. So let's connect the clock <clears throat> to the step sequencer. <clears throat> then uh, the note out of the step sequencer to the V oct of the VCO. That output, well, let's take a, a sine way. Let's go directly to the uh, input of the mix one <clears throat> then let's take the um output of uh, uh, the adsr module into the level of the mixer then let's connect the gate of the adsr module to the clock <clears throat> clock here we go and then let's connect that output into the first input channel of that master mixer. Here we are. So um, let's change the setting for the attenuation, for the attack. Let's um, increase the volume of the channel. And actually, let's connect also the output. It would be good if we could do that. Okay, here we are. Let's change some notes in the step sequencer. Okay, <clears throat> let's stop this. Now, let's add um, an effect. So let's go to the tags. Let's go to effect. And uh, actually, actually, let's go and add the reverb. Reverb and an M verb. Add batch. Now let's connect this. So, let's connect the output of uh, the first iox1 aux1 into the left input of the m verb and also into the right input of the m verb and then let's take the output the output of that m verb and go back as a return inside that uh, auxiliary input or channel um let's play now and let's uh, increase the volume of um well, I change the setting. So let's increase the AUX uh, output. And also let's put a maximum the output from the mixer and also what is coming back. And 
Now let's increase the mixer on the reverb or the M verb. Increase a little bit the room size. And as you can see, now I can adjust the reverb or just change the AUX channel. Here we go. This is a maximum. If I want to remove the reverb, I just take that auxiliary channel down to zero. Now let's do the same, but with a delay. Here we go. Let's take the output of that auxiliary channel 2 as the input inside the delay and then let's take that output from the delay back into the mixer and let's do it for both channel here we go let's increase a little bit uh, change the timing and make it more of a wet effect let's ensure that we have a maximum the output that is going out to the delay module and also what is returning and i set that to maximum <clears throat> And now let's play with the auxiliary two channel settings uh, down here. Let's play. As you can hear, you have a delay effect. And now let's add the reverb. Okay, I hope you find this useful and it's um, um, an easy way to add uh, a delay reverb effect in the auxiliary one and two channel of this master mixer. In this case, you can see how we can control what is sent to the uh, different uh, uh, modules and that what is coming back into the mixer. This, of course, is one way to do it. You can also choose to use another mixer. For example, if you go back to the mixer section and you just select mixer, you just drill down, there is this wonderful mixer which uh, works in a similar way. And just to show you a little bit, here we are. Um, here is plumbed out a little bit better. better. You have the auxiliary one and two up here for the different channel. Here you, you have sp specified the send and return for each one of them. And then you can mix uh, uh, the output with the auxiliary um, output as well together. So this is, uh, would be another module that you can use to achieve the same thing. So I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.